What is up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to expose Pinterest dropshipping. Now I believe Pinterest is one of the last remaining ways of doing dropshipping and scaling to big numbers and making some easy cash with dropshipping in 2023. So I was actually getting into Pinterest dropshipping back in the year 2020. Uh, we ran a bunch of stores back then and you know we were making a lot of money and we decided to shut it down to focus on our own brands but what i recommend is if you're looking to do drop shipping the old way the easy way this is something you can get started with right now and make a lot of money this year so let's get into it all right guys so what we're looking at right now is the pinterest homepage, okay and if we look at pinterest we go to our old similar web we can see here like they got 50 million visitors a month and that's actually just the co.uk website that's not even the dot com the dot com website is something like half a billion um, or a billion visitors a month or something crazy like that so uh when you go ahead create an account right sign up for your account and essentially it's going to ask you like what topics you're interested in i recommend you you know like beauty home and garden all the kind of traditional drop shipping products okay now once you do that you basically have two ways to do drop shipping on Pinterest. Number one, you can go to a tool, say like bigspy.com, and we can actually just go to the ad spy, and we could look, for example, what products are currently selling on Shopify, on Facebook ads, okay? We also have Pinterest in here. If you wanna go and spy on Pinterest ads and see the top performing Pinterest products, go ahead here, click on Pinterest, sort it by the last like 30 days, um, I like to choose the region. I also like to choose, for example, video ad to show me some better results. And then finally, I can sort by the things with the most likes. So now we can see, okay, this black statue is doing well, like these incense things always do well. Um, and you know, we can, we can filter it a little bit more, but I'm just gonna have a look right here. Uh, what is this? Some kind of Indian thing. That's why it's good to enter the country. But you can go through, we can look at this. This one could be a good one, Ayurvedic Herbal Formula, some skin cream. And this is why Pinterest is so good. On Pinterest, you can still make money selling all these kind of schemey dropshipping products that used to work years ago on Facebook, but will now get your ad account shut down. Pinterest is really, really lenient. They pretty much allow anything on the platform, anything kind of goes. So I could, for example, take that product, go and source it, make a list of all the top products from Facebook and simply use the strategy to take them from Facebook and drop ship them on Pinterest. So this one here, um, don't know what the hell this is, uh, but let's just ignore that for now. I find some products on here also by spying on actual Pinterest ads, which I don't have because it's not in my uh, big spy plan. You have to upgrade for that. But the other option, is to simply scroll on Pinterest and look for Pinterest stores. This is a really, really clever thing to do. It works like crazy. So as you're scrolling, you can see promoted, okay? So if I just click Control F and I type promoted, um, we're gonna start seeing different stores, okay? So I'm just gonna scroll a bit, um, keep scrolling, and then it's not loading anymore. And now I can click promoted, right promoted, okay? So I see this one here, promoted by chick mickey if i open this up you will see that this is simply a 2017 style drop shipping store so this is what people are doing on pinterest it still works like it used to like the 2017 days and oftentimes we click similar web look look at this traffic this is a crazy amount of traffic they are making a lot of money you can see that they're running mainly in brazil then in the united states so you can do pinterest drop shipping you can do it in all different countries and it's literally 2017 style drop shipping. And then what we can do is we can build a spreadsheet. So what I would do is I'd go to sheets.google, I would build a spreadsheet, and then I would add all of these all of these stores to the spreadsheet because what we know about these stores is that they are actively making a killing uh, drop shipping. And you see here, I put in collections for us all to try and see their best sellers, but they blocked us from doing it because they don't want people spying on what they're selling. Um, but we can move on because there's lots of stores who, uh, you know, we can see their recently added products and then we can just copy and paste their recently added products onto ours. So I'm going to go back 
Let's see if we have any other. Um, this one, look, DIY vibe, Magic Men's Mini Shaver. So I can open this up, see another one, another like, it looks like it's owned by the same guy. Let's go back, look at this, boom, massive volume again. They're going from zero to massive, massive sales, doing old school drop shipping. Again, this one's doing it in Brazil, which is really, really cool. Uh, social, 85%. We can take this, we can go to similar web, and we can analyze the website, okay? Um, while that's loading, I'm just gonna show you the other way that you find ads that are currently working and stores that are doing well. Um, you simply type in a niche, okay? So I type in here, beauty, for example, okay? Now we see immediately promoted by Hebley, uh, instant keratin mask. So we can open this one up. Um, Hebley, you can see they have 10 million monthly views. Another way you actually find the products on Pinterest is simply by going to their Pinterest page. And this is usually ordered in like the things that they're adding most recently. So you can see all the recent products. Um, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna actually look at the store right now. Again, look, same store, same exact thing. Let's check the traffic. Boom, look at that. It's just, just insane. This is making me wanna get back into Pinterest dropshipping this year. Um, might actually do it and do a little case study. So we can keep scrolling. And what you'll notice is that there's a lot of the same guys who have like 10 stores because this is the secret about Pinterest dropshipping. Once you have one account and one store, you launch, you get about three or four products working on it. It tends not to scale. You might hit like $5,000 a day and be capped out. So when you do that, you just want to make another store and another Pinterest account and another store. Um, so I can just scroll a bit more and now let's search promoted again. Um, another, that's the shaver. Promoted here, well pop. So we can just like keep going through. This one's a Spanish ad, um, but you get the idea. So what I'm showing you here is that all these guys are just crushing it and they're doing this old school drop shipping. This is something that, you know, shouldn't even be working in 2023. Like look at this traffic. They're all crushing it, making lots of money. And we go to similar web and one of these stores we can scroll down, see the massive scale they're having, and then we can look at their traffic sources, okay? So, traffic sources, look, Pinterest, 100% Pinterest. So, let's say you make a list of 10 products, 10 stores, you pick ones that you think are working now, maybe you get some from Big Spy or your favorite spy tool. Making your Pinterest store is really, really, really easy, okay? Um, I had one here called, I had one called Creative Car. I had one called uh, Hapini.com. Um, if we look at, uh, uh, what's it called, Wayback Machine, I can show you how it looked. Uh, this, this worked really well for us. We just decided we wanted to kind of get out of drop shipping a bit. But we can see here, 2021, it was live. We have a screen, uh, screenshot here. Okay, it's not working, but anyway, it's, the stores were very much like these stores, okay? They're just general stores. That's all you gotta do is you gotta build like these really basic general stores. Things called look, Creative Car, a Penny, uh, just like, call it uh, PintyShop.com, uh, GoPinty, anything like that works on Pinterest. So now I'm gonna show you the actual ad side. So you come into ads.pinterest.com, and to create a campaign, it's, it's really, really easy. All you need to do is create the Pinterest account. You then go to ads.pinterest.com to set up the ad account. It's really, really, really easy. And then what you wanna do is you wanna start adding these pins, okay? So what you'll do is you'll take the video from you know Big Spy or whatever. I like to use this uh, video resizer called Clidio. And you can just, Choose a file that you're gonna use, and then select Pinterest. Select Pinterest as what size you want, and you can crop the video into it, and it will look really good. So I'm gonna go and just do a little example. Um, let's take, for example, this thing here, okay? So we take this, and we go to Pinterest Video Downloader. 
download Pinterest videos. And then you're gonna hit download and just like that, it will be ready to upload. Create, 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 create pin. Haven't done this in a little while, so apologies for that. Download the video. Okay. And just like that, you can copy and paste people's stuff. That's literally what everyone's doing. You put it in here and you put the product title and you go 50% off today. And then here you add the destination link. This would be the link you know, to your dropshipping store. You don't need to add tags. And here you do want to say like, check out this amazing new uh, gadget we have on Creative Cart, which my store was called. And you post it. And then once you've done with that, you basically go to the ad section, you click create campaign. You do set up a Pinterest pixel. So you have to set up the pixel and you have to actually get one conversion on the pixel before it will actually open up the ability for you to do conversions. You can see here, we haven't had any data yet. So it's not actually letting me do this. It's gonna take you over and say, set up uh, this pixel. I think in this other account here, it will actually uh, allow me to do it. Ads, create campaign. Yeah, here it should allow. So here I can see conversions, campaign name, you name the campaign, uh, you know, product name, USA, daily budget. Um, I would always do the budget at 50 or $100. Anything less, it's not worth it. It's not gonna work. Click continue. Uh, reconnect with users, find new customers like this. And then what tended to work really well is the interests, okay? Two things work well. Either selecting all of them and just doing no targeting on all of them like this, or select relevant interests, like if you're selling a pet product, select animals, and just run the animals category. That worked really well. I would leave the demographics open. You can always uh, see the reporting later and split test it. Um, but yeah, it's really, really simple. Conversion event is checkout. Like I said, you need one purchase on your store before they'll even give you the ability to optimize for checkouts or purchases. But once you have one, what I would do is I would set up the uh, Pinterest pixel on my Shopify, and then I would go through and make a test purchase myself. And then the next day, it would allow me to optimize for conversion. So you wanna optimize for conversion from the beginning. Auto bidding would work really well. And then target CPA would also work well. You just got to play around with this and see what works best for your campaign. And then in terms of the ads, you select the pin. Um, I'm not going to show you all my pins there. Uh, but yeah, you select the pin and you literally just select the, once you've published this, it will show up as the pin. You click it, it's selected. And now those ads are going to show up on people's home pages as their browsing categories or browsing their home. And that is it, guys. That is all there is to Pinterest dropshipping. And as you can see, people are still crushing with it in 2023. Um, I think we are gonna be setting up some Pinterest dropshipping ourselves. Again, we haven't done it in a few years, uh, but what we're seeing is people are crushing on the platform more than ever before doing this really old dropshipping style. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't show you some of the old campaigns it's in one of my other accounts that I can't uh, find the login to right this second, but that is all there is to it, okay? Um, I'm telling you, we did this, we ran this to like $10,000 a day while we were doing it. Um, other guys are running this to $50,000 a day, $100,000 a day, and getting great margins, just drop shipping. So go ahead, I hope you uh, enjoy the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you give Pinterest dropshipping a go. And if you have success, please let me know in the comments.